A lot of the time when you come across content online, you're not getting it from the original source. Maybe it's a picture or video that people are sharing around, but you're not sure where it came from. Or maybe you're reading something about some reporting that somebody else did, or maybe you're watching someone talk about something that they read or heard someplace else. Sometimes when information travels between people online, it can change. Maybe that's because somebody misinterpreted some information, or they took it out of context, or maybe someone's intentionally trying to mislead you. So when we're looking at content online that we know isn't original, it's a good idea to try to trace that information as close as we can back to the original source. Think about it like going back to the first person in a game of broken telephone. You know the message that reached you, but to figure out whether it's been garbled, you've got to go back to the original source. Let's look at an example. Here's a video on TikTok of a person reacting to the news that police departments have been warning parents about a new iPhone feature. Police departments all over the country are freaking out about the new iOS name drop feature. Apparently with this new update, anybody can steal your contact information just by getting close to you. Now that sounds pretty scary, but this TikToker thinks that the problem really isn't all that serious. But the truth is this fear is a little overblown. Something that we see a lot on social media are people talking about or reacting to stories that they've read in the news. They're not reporting original information, they're re-reporting information that they've read elsewhere. But often what we end up getting is just a summary with parts cut out or mixed in with other bits of information or opinions. Summaries can be helpful, but we wanna make sure that we get back to the original source so we know that we're not missing anything. In our video, we can see the original reporting in the background. It's from something called WBZ News and we can make out most of the title. So let's try to trace this information. We can search for WBZ News along with as many of the keywords that we can identify. Let's try police departments warn parents about new iPhone feature or something like that. We might need to try a few different kinds of keywords to get some relevant results. But here we're in luck. Our search results point us to what looks to be the original story. So what do we find? Well, we can see that this article does link to some of the warnings that were posted on Facebook by local police departments. And we can see that some of these departments have been warning people that the new iPhone feature allows for the sharing of information just by coming in close contact with your device. We also see a note here that says that the information in this post was also checked by independent fact checkers, although we don't get a lot more information about that. Going back to our original article, we can see that other police departments say that there really isn't anything to worry about here. We can see another link to the Washington Post that says that all of this concern about the new iPhone feature really is just a waste of time. Clicking on that link, we can learn about how this new feature called Name Drop really works and how you can't just get anybody's information by getting close to them, it requires explicit authorization by both parties. So we've gone on a bit of a journey. Our TikTok video reported on an article, which took us to those original posts that caused all the drama, but then also took us to a reputable source that told us that there's really not that much to be worried about. By tracing the information, we were able to identify where a misunderstanding took place and also figure out what the real story is. Another way that misinformation can spread is through false context. False context is when a real story is shared, but with a false comment or summary that misrepresents the story. Let's look at this tweet. The account that shared the story makes it seem like the founder of the restaurant chain Panera is incredibly out of touch and that employees should really be motivated by making rich people even richer. This headline got shared a lot on social media and of course there were reactions on TikTok. Shocker, workers are not motivated by generating profits for their shareholders. Imagine that. So is this person really so out of touch? In the replies to the tweet, there's a link to the original article and it's from a source called Business Insider. The headline is the same. And if we scroll down, we can see those reactions on TikTok that are making fun of those people who think that overworked and underpaid employees should really be motivated by making more money for multi-million dollar companies and that nobody cares anymore about those poor, poor shareholders. It's sad, really. But now let's see if we can find out some more information about this nobody cares quote. We can search in the page using Control F or Command F on a Mac and type in nobody cares. 
Right away we get some context. It turns out that the founder of Panera is not complaining that employees are not motivated by making money for CEOs, he's empathizing with them. He agrees that it's ridiculous for bosses to think that their employees should be motivated by making them more money, and suggests some ways that employers could connect with employees instead. We can pretty easily see what the problem is here. The original headline is misleading and could be interpreted in a number of different ways. But since headlines are often the only thing we see when people are sharing information, it's easy to misinterpret its meaning when it's separated from the accompanying article. So the takeaway is this. If a source of information that you're unfamiliar with is summarizing information for you or re-reporting some information that it found elsewhere, trace that information back to the original source and verify it by seeing what other sources are saying about it. <laughs>